iPhone won't turn on? Fix it now without losing your important data. Oh. As you can see here, I have an iPhone 11 which is not turning on. And this is what happens whenever I connect a charger. This iPhone does not go further than the screen. I know this problem can be fixed by restoring it with iTunes, but the problem is iTunes will erase everything from this iPhone, which I don't want because my this phone's data is not backed up yet. So if you have similar problem with your iPhone, then you don't have to worry. In this video, I'm going to show you an easiest way to fix this problem without erasing your iPhone. So let's get started. In order to fix your iPhone problem, you will need a software by the name of Tenoshare Re-iBoot. You can get the software from the link given in the description below. The software is also available for Windows users. Basically, this software is one of the best iOS system recovery software. This software will help you fix all the major software problems of iOS devices without losing your important data, including the ones that you are seeing on your screen. So just go ahead, download and install the software, link will be given right in the description below. After installing the software, just open it up. Next, click on Repair Operating System. Next, click on Fix Now. Now you need to get your iPhone into recovery mode or DFU mode. If you don't know how to put your phone into recovery mode, you don't have to worry. Just follow the instructions provided by the software. The instructions are given separately for each iPhone devices. So in my case, my iPhone is iPhone 11, so I'm just gonna go with the first one. Once you get your iPhone into recovery mode, the software will automatically detect it. Now you need to download latest firmware version for your device. So in my case, the software is suggesting me to download iOS version 13.5.1. In your case, this might be different. Now there are two ways to download the firmware. The first option is downloading the firmware through the software. If you click on download, it's gonna start downloading the firmware. This will take time depending on your internet connection. And the second option is downloading the firmware through a web browser. If you want to download the software through browser, just click on copy and it's gonna open the browser and will start downloading automatically. So, so I'm just gonna cancel this download because I already have downloaded the firmware. So I'm just gonna select the firmware which I already downloaded. After that, the software will start repairing your iPhone. During this process, do not disconnect your phone. Okay, as you can see, the repairing process is completed. Now, your iPhone will restart. After restarting, you should have your iPhone fixed. Okay, after that, all you have to do is set up your iPhone as if it's brand new. After the initial setup, you will have your iPhone fixed just like this. And also, your all data will be untouched. So let's see, let's go to photos. And as you can see, all my photos are there. None of them are touched. On call logs, contacts, as you can see, all my files are there. If you face any kind of problem while using the software, you don't have to worry. Just contact support team of the software by going to their website. Click on support. And from here, you can contact their support team to get your problem solved. So there you have it guys. That is how you can fix an iPhone that is not turning on without losing your important data. Please let me know what you think about this video in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends. And I'll catch you on the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Goodbye.